what's the transition been like for you? How do you like it here? It's been great. It's been uh, it's been smooth. Everybody's been very welcoming. You know, it was a busy summer getting to know everyone and who's who and what's what. And um, but since we got a regular routine here now, since coming in at Labor Day and really digging in, getting to work, and then through training camp and in Prague, it's been it's been great. We got lots of great people here. It's uh, tremendous facility and the area has been great. Uh, you know, living here and getting comfortable here. So, all in all, everything has been good. Do you see similarities between the team you're running now and the team you took over a few years back? Yeah, um, I think so. Yeah, you know, in terms of the areas the team needs to grow in the most, I think it's pretty similar. Uh, there's some high-end talent on the group, uh, in the group, and, and uh, yeah, there, there's some similarities there for sure. But it's it also is unique in, in lots of ways as well. What's this game mean to you? I mean, I don't know what to what to make of it. You know, I've never been in this situation before. We'll see when we get out there and the game gets going. But uh, what does it mean to me? Not a lot, quite honestly. I mean, it's I got nothing but love from the people that are on the other side. Um, and tremendous respect for everybody in the organization that uh, treated me so well and the players that gave me so much. Uh, so to that end, it's going to be strange being on the other side, but. Uh, you know, for us, it's our home opener. It's my first time in front of the Devils fans. In that sense, I'm more focused on that. It's it's a little bizarre that the Leafs are coming in here, obviously. But uh, other than the fact that we've got a lot to prepare for because it's a very good team to, to uh, play against, and I'm on the other side now and getting a sense of what other teams have had to contend with, you know, and dealing with what's been a top five or top ten team in the regular season over the last number of years. Uh, so we got. That's what my focus is on here tonight. What was it like pre-scouting that game yesterday? Just watching. Right? Yes, it, it. it was. It was different. It's uh, my first time uh, watching a Leaf game since my since my Marley's days, and it'll be my last. But um, yeah, it's just you know getting a feel for things. Uh, quite honestly, there's a lot of similarities uh, in how both teams want to play and and things that we've been trying to establish and things that we did establish when we were there. So in terms of structure, it's pretty similar. There are some differences, neutral zone and, and in the D zone, but uh, offensively is a lot of what you would expect. Sheldon, Jesper talked this morning about between game one and two really feeling like there were some real strides taken in terms of committing to what you want from them. And now he says that it's about those finer tuned details to take it to the next level. What are some of those ones that you're particularly preaching tonight? Well, yeah, it's a good, it's a good point. Our second game was was far better, um, just as I would expect it will be for Toronto here tonight. Uh, but you know, the differences for us was just that it, you know the the structure just fell into place a lot quicker, uh, and it was a lot more effective. And, and we had four lines and six defensemen that were committed to it. So now you're controlling play that much more, and it'll be a greater challenge to do that here tonight against an opponent such as this. But uh, just the detail part of it is about consistency because there's lots of clips and lots of examples where it looks exactly as you want it to, but you're seeking consistency and it's early in the season. Um, but that's what's required is to do it uh, every single time. And uh, like I said, with the team we have here playing against tonight with the talent over there, if you make mistakes, that's where they capitalize. So we're going to have to be really buttoned up. They may go hill to be tonight. I don't know how much you got to know him when he was on that trip with you guys last year, but what, what did you make of, of Dennis? Uh, I mean, he had a tremendous season last year. You know, he's a huge guy. He's, you know, he's he's older than his experience uh, would it would would say uh, in North America, but he's had some experience in Europe. But yeah, tre had tremendous uh, tremendous year last year as a first year in North America, and it seems like he's had a good preseason. So, you know, I'm not too concerned about who's in goal for them here tonight. They got a tremendous uh, performance last night in goal. Um, but we got a lot to worry about to protect our own goalies and, and find a way to get to whoever's in there for them. How excited are you for the home opener? Very excited, you know. They, I, the one preseason game we played here, the, uh, I know we played two, but uh, the first preseason game that I was here for, I can't remember what night of the week that was, but that one in particular, just in the early going, even just announcing the players in the starting lineup, and for a preseason game, it was loud and 
and intense and, and all of that. So I'm excited here for tonight to, to get a taste of it on this side and, and uh, hope we get through it without them throwing anything at us like I uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. was here a few years ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, you talked about consistency and really since day one of camp, for the most part, the lines, the pairings have been consistent and the same. Are you noticing like good chemistry and the luxury of being able to have the guys now for basically four weeks being together since the start of camp? Yeah, I am. I, I've been happy with it, you know, and that's why so it has been important to stick to stick with it, uh, give it an opportunity to grow inside of how we want to play as a team. Uh, you know, the, I looked at the Hughes line to me wasn't very good in game one out in Prague, but you know, you, you talk about it, do you change it up? It's, no, no, these guys need to stay with it. There's are three really good players, and then they went out and they were our best line the next night, uh, less than 24 hours later. So I think it is important to give it some time. I'm still getting to know all of these players and their strengths and weaknesses and, and uh, their personalities and such. So, um, you know, until I have more information, uh, I like the opportunity for this group to continue to, to grow. The summer probably felt like a bit of a whirlwind, but I'm wondering if you're able to have any conversations with the core guys in Toronto after you, you moved on and get some closure there and maybe, I don't know, reminisce about some of the times you did have. Yeah, I had, I had good opportunities to, to chat with to chat with them. They were nice enough to reach out, and you know, I mean, most of the guys, uh, you know, whether it's phone calls or text messages. So, so that was great. And, and you know, like I said, I got nothing but love and respect to the people on the other side. Um, I leave Toronto uh, disappointed that I wasn't able to help them. You know, push push through in the playoffs. But I do think that the team's in a really good place. Um, love the moves that that uh, Tree made in the off season, and um, and I think that you know the team is as good as it's ever been. And I wish them nothing but the best. And as I say, nothing but love and respect for them. So, what's the key to defending Matthews? <laughs> Keep the puck away from him. Make him defend. You know, um, limit mi minimize your mistakes and get some love uh, from the crossbar. So we can uh, like last night. Thank you, Sheldon. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Coaches, your overall thoughts, and obviously, you know, you dig a hole like that, it's tough to come back against that team. Yeah, I mean, you can't, uh, can't spot any team in the league uh, lead like that. I mean, I don't know that we deserved uh, or that they deserved to be up three like the way that they were, but the reality is that they were. So it's a hard, it's a hard hole to get out of for sure. But in some cases, dug our own... Uh, well, there's just puck play not nearly good enough and defending not near, not even close to hard enough today. Nice, so paid for it. So I know the players probably wanted to give you that win. How, what was it like for you emotionally tonight to face your former team? No emotions for me in the game. It's a little bit odd standing back there and, you know, the colors. I'm still adjusting to the red and the, the blue and whites back again. Uh, so, you know, um, but we're just trying to we're just trying to build our game, and um, the opponent had a big say in the game here tonight. But that was nowhere near close to to what we need, and not even close to how we performed in Prague. Do you think that has to do with compete level? Talking to Jesper, he said we just didn't match their compete level tonight, and that put you in a hole. Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about some of the defending, like just light on our sticks, not going through bodies, just. You know, we had to defend more tonight probably than we had to uh, out in Prague. But, uh, yeah, that was, that's not it. Oh, what did you see out of Monstrum tonight? It looked like he might have been a little shaky first period, and then he really settled down after that. Yeah, yeah, not a great first period for that for him. But, yeah, I, I would agree he settled. I mean, I didn't think we gave up very much. Um, after he had the one sequence, I think he made a great save for us, and that kind of kept us kept us in the game. But but uh, you know there was there was nobody here on the game tonight. Coach, you mentioned the the defense, but on on the offensive side, did you feel that you were able to create secondary scoring chances there? Uh, man, we we had some pretty good action around the net, and, you know, not not enough clearly. But to me, any lack of offense was a result of our inability to get the puck out of our end and through the neutral zone. You know, we just didn't get to spend enough time there because we were just, we were really fighting the puck on our half of the ice. And obviously they had a lot of block shots. What do you got to do to open up those shooting lanes? I don't know. I didn't feel there was many block shots. Your 
first, obviously, home opener. What do you think of the, uh, the crowd, the, the juice in the building tonight? That was great, but we, I mean, we didn't give them much to cheer about tonight. Thank you, Sheldon. Oh, thanks.